I, I had to turn it up a little bit cause they start hate. Like, like, like comment, and subscribe, tell me why you wait. The real breezy TV on in that type of day. What's up guys? It's your girl and I am back on another video and today we are doing more embroidery and I am trying to use the repositional hoop that I purchased from Amazon for my brother's SE625. Now this is my first time doing it and I'm doing it on a jacket. So hopefully this works out. Um, I transferred the files here. I'm not going to show the process to that because I want to make sure I have it done right first before I do a video showing the process. So I'm going to get over to the, to the table, hoop our jacket, and hope we get this done right. I don't want to mess this jacket up. It's for, it's for my son, but I'm trying something. So you know, when I try stuff, I got to share it with YouTube because I want you guys to see my mess ups as well as my victories, um, and we can all learn from both of them. So. Let's just get over to the table. I'm excited, so let's go. Okay guys, so first off, I only have these um, cutaway stabilizers that I got from Amazon and it came in a pack like this, so they're about this square. So I'm thinking, and you know, you, you just gotta try stuff. So I'm gonna try something here because the repositional hoop is long. And one of them, as you can see, cannot, it does not cover it. So, yeah, one doesn't cover it. So we still got all, we still got some space over here. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to take three of them, three cutaway stabilizers. These are cutaway stabilizers. And I am going to, so when I take two of them, it'll fit like that right so I'm gonna take a third just to make sure that cuz I was going I'm going to spray my adhesive on it but I need to make sure it's not gonna come apart so I guess it shouldn't okay so let's try this Make these bad boys stick together. Okay. Make them stick together. Now, we can hoop it. Right? So how I want this hoop to go is I want it to be on the back of the jacket. So let me show you guys the jacket. And I actually changed the design a little bit. Because this is what I did to it yesterday. But today I'm going to only do like a. Like an applique kind of. Design. Where it's like just like the outline. And I want it to go. About right here. On the back of the jacket. But I wanted to be in a nice size. So I'm hoping we can get this bad boy working. About right there. About like that. Which I think. Or do you think, or I'm thinking maybe I should just put one right here in the middle to make sure that it stays. So I think I might do. Some people might say that it's wasting, but I don't. I'm just trying to make sure that. I get this right and I hope it doesn't like not I hope it's not too thick for my needle so that's another thing but I guess I'm gonna find out hope it's not too strong for my needle okay so Clothes are good. Nice and tight. Okay. 
So my son was pretty excited and happy about the one part that I did. So I'm hoping he'll like the back of it. Okay, so let's get over to the embroidery machine. And we have it hooped up, as you can see. I tried to pull it out, flatten it. Get it all flattened and stuff, so. The best I could. So let's get over to the embroidery machine. Here is, put it in here. Let's get our hoop in here. Okay, so, let make sure ain't nothing underneath of it. Okay, so we're gonna use, so on my, on the SE625, there are two hoops, I mean two little brackets, and four brackets knob brackets whatever here so i'm gonna put the first one the first two are going to go on to the machine lock it in so <clears throat> okay so we don't have that box because there was a box okay so we're going to do this in black we're going to do this in black let's see hope i don't mess my son jacket up he was hyped yesterday when I did the first one. I probably should be doing it on something else, huh? Other than uh, his jacket, but I don't really want to waste the thread, so. Okay, so it looks like everything is right. Let's check it again. That's where the O's going to end. Okay. 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 All right. Let's go. As soon as I see it acting up. Here we go. Pretty good. Oh, pretty good. This is horrible. Horrible lighting. Cut out this extra fabric. And it messed up right there. Why? I don't know. But it doesn't look like something that's like really bad. But I don't why it messed up right there.
show called in the life of Pete Skinny. Now who you know with a flow this classic? Skinny make your favorite rapper sound average. I'm just Okay, so now we're going to move the repositional hoop. We're going to unhook it. Let's fix that. We're going to unhook it. And we're going to move it from the first one, from the one, first two, to the second and the third. So, the second one that was, the one that was in the first hoop, but the one that was in the second hook will be now in the first hook. And then the third one will be in the second that makes if that made any sense if it made any sense if it made any sense so it gave me a bunch of extra stitches i don't know why but i did cut the majority of them out um and this is what it came out looking like. I like it. Um, I know, you know, practice makes perfect. So I'll be doing a few more. So in the next couple of videos, you will be seeing some more, some more jackets. So um, thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share. And be breezy. You subscribe, hit the bell for the next one.